Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I, today I actually apologize for the lateness of this video. It is a little bit later than I would have hoped. However, that's for a good reason and that's because I have been so busy lately working on something pretty exciting. I will get into that later in the video, but uh, right now we are making some more buttons. However, we are making them with a twist. A little while ago, I had made uh, a new video and I released all of my new button designs. I bought a button machine and it was amazing. And I actually did get quite a few sales and people really liked them. But there was something at the time that I really wanted to do that I just couldn't do at the time, but I can do it now. And that is make them holographic. I am so excited. Look at this holographic film. It's so beautiful. This stuff is really cool. Basically what it does is uh, once you put it over the top of uh, something that has been printed with laser ink, which is what I use to print my buttons, <laughs> um, you can actually put it through a laminator and it will pretty much adhere completely to the paper and it looks so beautiful and this is just so satisfying so here is my laminator it's no fancy laminator i got it from like office works for like 20 bucks or 15 bucks i can't remember but it does the job and once you peel back that film it just I don't know, I think it transforms these little buttons here into something completely different. They kind of remind me of Tarzos. Do you guys remember Tarzos? Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so basically these are the little circles that I put through my button machine. And don't these just look like holographic Pokemon cards? I, I don't know, it just looks so pretty to me and I really love it. So yeah, as you can see, I actually have a few new designs here. These are actually unreleased. I haven't actually sold buttons of these designs yet. I did make them a few months ago, but then I decided to wait on that because I really wanted to, you know, do the whole holographic thing. And that actually turned out really well. But as you can see, we have Giratina, which is a Pokemon from the Sinnoh region. We also have Arceus and uh, Shinx as well, because Shinx is one of my favorite Pokemon. And it's actually funny because I drew these months and months ago and I had no idea that uh, the Pokemon company was going to announce a Sinnoh remake, which is basically uh, a, a new game with these Pokemon in the spotlight. And I just think that that was a really, really cool coincidence because honestly, these are kind of relevant now and they're also some of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, it was actually really fun to add the foiling, the, the holographic foil onto these. Uh, a few of them messed up a little bit. Sometimes the foil creases up here and there and uh, those designs have like bit like lines through them where there's no holographic film on them so I guess those ones are dud ones <laughs> so I'm guessing some of the button designs that I print out will end up you know wasted but overall it's not a bad ratio and this was just really fun and I don't know it just gave a it gave it a little bit more freshness to you know my button making uh, process. So now that we've made all of those little pieces of paper sparkly and beautiful it's time to turn them into buttons this is my button press and I'm sorry the footage is a little bit shaky. Uh, I kind of have to like push hard down on the machine to like press the button. But yeah, uh, they turned out so pretty and I especially love the Articuno. I just think it suits it so well because it's an ice type and you have like these little shards all over the picture. It just looks so pretty and also really love it on some of the darker designs as well because the colors just show up really nicely. All of the little rainbow colors on the uh, holographic film. I just love it. It looks so beautiful to me. And yeah, if anyone's interested in uh, where to get a button machine that is high quality, if you're in Australia, I recommend alond.com.au. That's where I actually got my button machine from and it is really, really nice and high quality, I really think. But yeah, here I am now just making the rest of these holographic buttons and don't they look beautiful? Look at this little Arceus, it just looks so pretty and all of the others as well. 
Now, if you're wondering where you can get these buttons, you actually can't at the moment. I haven't released them yet. And that is because I am working on a huge store update and I have a few projects planned for it, which are so exciting and new for me as well. I've never done some of the items that I'm going to be selling soon. This will include stickers and also uh, an item which is quite similar to the buttons, but a little bit different. Now you're probably thinking an enamel pin and no, it's not an enamel pin, but it's around that sort of, I don't know, area, I guess. I don't wanna say what it is yet because I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I will be making that a video as well. So yeah, here is all of the holographic buttons I made today and I am going to be making more designs in the future for this future store update. But this is what I've got at the moment and I just think that they look so pretty. I don't know, it just, it's so satisfying for me to like, because I've waited so long to make something like this, it just, mm, I'm happy. <laughs> But now onto something you actually can get today if you want. Here are obviously some of my older button designs, which I absolutely love. And for a while now, I have wanted to make button packs because at the moment in my store, it is pretty much just individual buttons and you know, some prints. <laughs> but I really wanna make button packs just to make it easier and to group certain buttons together to make it easier for people if they want to buy say uh, six Animal Crossing pins or, you know, a bunch of Pokemon pins that have, you know, the similar theme, like the evolutions, for example. And I also just wanna up my game on the uh, preparation and the presentation as well, because uh, usually I just pin them to a piece of cardboard and send them out that way, but I wanna make it pretty and cute. So actually what I have decided to do is I have printed out this nice little design here, which is relevant to the buttons. <laughs> and I printed it out on some cardstock, which is nice and thick. And I am actually punching out some holes here to put the buttons through. And we are making a little button pack and it just looks so pretty and colorful. And I just think it looks a lot better than how I used to package them. For the Animal Crossing one, I decided to do some generic fruit shapes because that's relevant as well as a vague cat shape and a vague leaf and a, uh, a little dog shape as well. And I think that they look really nice on there and uh, I think it fits pretty good. Now for the Pokemon uh, backing, I'm actually, I actually decided to do a vague shape that could be either Eevee or Pikachu because they have a similar look to them. But I also added some little uh, star and heart shapes as well. And I think that looks really nice. It's not too overly Pokemon either. It does kind of uh, sort of, I don't know, it sort of works for that, but it could also work for something else. But these look really nice. So I'm actually going to be making two different uh, button packs of the Pokemon ones. And that is a... Uh, I'm calling it Poke Cuties, <laughs> and that's pretty much just some of the really cute Pokemon that I love, including Pikachu, Snom, Wooloo, and Applin. <laughs> and the other one I'm doing is a Eeveelution set, so we will have Eevee, Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon. Now, because the backing card is pretty vague, uh, I did that on purpose because uh, Obviously, it will work for either the cute Pokemon or the evolutions as well. And uh, yeah, it's quite convenient. And you guys have no idea how exciting it was for me to finally pin these little buttons down on the backing and just like put a little label on it and just make it look really cute. This is sort of what I had envisioned when I first decided I was going to, uh, you know, dive into the button making world. <laughs> but obviously I couldn't at the time, but now I am. And I'm also planning on making a whole bunch more button packs uh, to add to my shop. Now for the labels, I printed it onto some uh, label paper here. Now at first I did a little label with a purple background and uh, obviously it says Poke Cuties and Animal Villages, but then I kind of decided I wanted to change it because I just didn't like the colors that much 
of the labels so I made a completely different design and I actually printed out evolutions instead of pokey cuties <laughs> for the evolutions so that was good and more relevant <laughs> and I I couldn't peel it off the backing paper so I just stuck it over the top of those but that's okay because I only just made a few so uh, yeah I think it looks a lot better I like the pink and I like the sort of painterly background that I did I think it suits my brand pretty well now I have actually put them into little plastic sleeves here. Now this is just to protect the buttons. Um, I did buy these plastic sleeves quite a while ago when I decided to do some store stuff. But once those run out, I am planning on getting um, some plant-based plastic sleeves just because it's a little bit more eco-friendly. Here are all of the little button packs and I just love them so much. I had to make a few more just because they're so cute and I am so excited. So if you guys are interested in the button packs and if you haven't actually uh, bought some of my buttons, it is available on my shop right now. The holographic ones aren't available yet because I am saving them for a big store update really, really soon. I haven't actually picked a date or anything yet, but uh, closer to like, you know, preparing more, I will let you guys know when those will be available. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was interesting to you to see how I made these holographic pins, uh, buttons, and uh, yeah, they're really, really cute. I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you in my next video for some more art. I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye.